<laughs> a very not great reaction. Yeah. Tell him to roll the intro. Roll the intro. We are just starting the vlog right now. It's fine. It's cool cuz you know this girl over here has been annoying the hell out of us all freaking day She's so calm and dope when we're not shooting, but as soon as we start shooting she goes like crazy She wants to be in the video so badly. I know. Here, why don't you just talk to the vlog? Hi, my name is Sleepy. I'm a brat. <laughs> we got Krish in the building. You know what I mean? What up, what up, what up, what up? We got Danny in the building. Yo, hey. We got Harj in the building. What's good? Tamir, we got your food. Wake up. No. Really embarrassing. <laughs> it's 3 p.m. Tamara's asleep. So it's that time. So we are currently shooting a Valentine's Day video, hence all of the Valentine's Day stuff that we are going to buy. I mean that we bought, and we are probably going to return. We can't tell them we're gonna return it. What if there's goddamn employees from Walmart up in here? Walmart employees, they're planning on returning all this stuff. So if you see this, these cases, your stores, Whatever. call the police. Honestly, like we just used it as a prop and like we didn't like damage the good so legit the tags are still on them They're Yeah, still in wonderful condition yeah, Exactly like it's such a waste if we buy it and we throw it out, right? Right, we're actually doing more good check it out We're making a bomb ass video that brings happiness to people and then instead of wasting all these things and harming the earth We're gonna return them for someone to have and someone that's gonna care for these things, you know? It's true instead of keeping them in like a bag somewhere randomly and no one sees it ever again exactly so it's like, we're good people, you know? By the way, this is my favorite person in the whole goddamn world. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, what? What happened? I thought you were talking about me. Oh, yeah, I was. He's the best, Danny. We love you so much. I'm sorry? Huh? Can you say a lot for the camera, please? I thought you're the best. We love you so much. Yo, yo. Hi. So we just finished filming the entire video. Jazz has been killing the game all day. I don't know where she gets her energy from, but these past couple days, she's been killing the game. I'm kind of tired, though. So Jazz is making me coffee. I'm a ballerina! Oh, Jazz, you're not a ballerina! Yeah, ballerina! Can we edit in a different room? Should we just go into like Timmy's? Yum down. Oh, right. Get a maple dip donut. Guys, lesson of the day. Don't let anybody break down your dreams. Definitely not a ballerina. Twerk, 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 twerk. Snoopy, twerk, 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 twerk. <laughs> you're a ballerina, okay, I promise. Now make me coffee. I'm a ballerina, not a barista, okay? It's not barista, it's barista. It's barista! Tell them. Barista! So why isn't there two E's? Why is there an I? I think it's Italian. Well, so are you. Oh, she got you there. Yo, say something in Italian quickly. Spaghetti! Ooh! Yogi! Yogi! The espresso! Espet! Espet! That's the only Italian word I know, because when Nona says it a lot, she'd be like, Espet! And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> I found out it means one minute or like one second. Espe, 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 espe. When Jazz is, you know, trying to become a ballerina and she's being super annoying, you, should, you just go, all right, espe, espe, and then you never come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jazz. Welcome to uh, YouTube vlogs where Jazz gets bullied all day. Roll that intro. We rolled the intro video. What do you mean? <laughs> Give me a piggyback ride. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Snoopy's been so sad because literally everybody in the house kind of disappeared. She doesn't know where they went. She doesn't know how long they're going to be back. Uh, how long they're going to be gone for. She's yes. so confused. Yes. She keeps following me around everywhere I go. Good puppy. Okay, so just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. I just finished my part of the video. Now Jazz is going over it with revisions. And then we're going to be done. Then we're going to upload it. And then you guys are going to see it. I love the video. It's um Types of Girlfriends on Valentine's Day. Freaking hilarious. If you haven't seen it yet, link in the description box below. But I'm sure you guys have seen it. Because you guys got your notifications turned on for both channels. You know. I know you've seen it the day it came out. But that's not why I'm here. We are so in like LA mode. Like we are ready to move to LA. But the process for getting the visa to go there is fucked okay it is the most difficult thing ever we thought it was going to be much easier but it's not it's actually really hard so it's going you know slowly but surely we have a couple of things left to do to hopefully get it and like it's never it's never like 
a hundred percent that yo you're gonna get it no matter what it's like you build a case you present the case and then if they say yes they say yes if they say no they say no and that's how it's gonna go but we're so in LA mode that we have given up all hope of keeping things clean because my room right now is like legit a storage facility like we use this room to change for videos and then we go back downstairs film come back up here throw clothes everywhere and just it's a freaking disaster and I keep trying to clean it but like I'm like yo don't worry the visa's gonna come we're gonna move and I'll clean it when I'm packing, you know, but the visa's not here. Yeah, I just felt like uh, venting to you guys real quick, but that's what's going on right now. Other than that, it's lit, man. I'm happy. Jazz is happy. We're working. We're grinding. Hope you guys are grinding too. You know, chase those dreams. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and cannot do because you can do anything. Anything you put your mind to, you can do that shit, man. I tell all my friends that. I tell everyone I know, everyone that tells me, yo, they're struggling doing this or doing that and they don't know what to do. They feel stuck. Work harder. That's all. That's all it takes and I love helping my friends. I, I love making sure that they reach their full potential. I feel like I just talked about like 13 different things right now. So I'm going to stop. But I hope you're having a very, very, very blessed day. I just realized that we're matching. How cute are we? We're pretty cute. We're pretty cute. We just had a call with our lawyers. Not the greatest call in the world. It could have been a better phone call. So basically, as you guys know, we've been wanting to move to LA for over a year now. Yeah. Because for many reasons, like we love Brampton, but we want to move because the opportunity to grow our career is just so much bigger there. And even when we were there, we had all these meetings and everyone's like, okay, cool. I want you to do this and I want you guys I want I want to partner with you and do this and this and this and then we tell them we're Canadian and they're like oh, oh. so call us when you move to LA so it's like a catch-22 because it's like nobody wants to hire us but to move and get the visa to go there you need to have a job yeah like a show or like a, a deal with a company but no one wants to give us a damn deal Canadian they don't want to go through the whole visa process basically that's our issue right now that's why we are still here and as soon as we get our visa we are leaving but we don't know when that will be and it kind of makes us sad we used to feel like we knew it was supposed to be january february 2018 but that's not even close yeah. to the case right now we do have options we do have steps that we need to take we do know what we need to do but some of the options are very difficult to do not difficult to like literally do but like like you know when you have the like, two options and there's pros and cons for each but like the pros are so heavy and the cons are so heavy for both yeah so it's one of those no we're gonna have to ask in some serious favors from some friends so thank god for friends though yeah thank god for friends be nice to people <laughs> exactly <laughs> but uh and that's just an update for you guys we honestly have zero idea when we're moving and it's kind of stressful because i just kind of want to get my life started in la because like we do also have the option of going there anyways for six months but the thing about going to the u.s you can only go there for six months in a 12 month period so we couldn't even go and start like getting furniture or anything like that because we don't have a visa you can't rent we can get Get someone to rent for us but we still it just doesn't make any sense yeah doesn't make any sense at all and, and it just sucks because like the one of the points and um, one of the reasons to move there was so we can kind of have a home because right now i feel like i live out of my car i'm constantly going from hard juice house to my house to hard juice house to my house and it's like uh, i don't know where half our stuff is so that's just kind of our issue right now we don't know when we're moving to la we want to go soon but we don't know when it'll happen and yeah all right folks we are headed to downtown toronto to go to a party yes we are our homie amira is having her one year anniversary party for her company we're so proud of her because she's like the best publicist in the world we might take jazz over here to a vegan restaurant after depending or not if the party has vegan food jazz is craving like vegan waffles vegan desserts anything vegan jazz wants right now i also just made the promise to jazz that valentine's day is going to be a vegan restaurant day we're going to do vegan breakfast vegan lunch and vegan dinner because jazz needs that in her life sometimes i do because sometimes we'll go to restaurants and i'll be like cool i can have lettuce or we'll go to like a Italian spot and she can have like spaghetti plain with red sauce. That's it. And that's if they're like spaghetti is not made with like red, uh, egg noodles. Which is like rare, yeah. right? Look at Jazz looking all fine, eh? Look at that utida. I'm literally just wearing jeans with a tank top. Literally wearing the same thing I wear like in videos. But your hair looks fly though. Good job, Jazz. Oh, it's packed up in here, yo. Oh, those for us. And it's 
the next day. As you can tell, we went to the party, hung out. We gave our friend Amira a little present. She loved it. It was great. We came home. We watched some Netflix. We went to sleep. And now it's the next day. Good day today. It's Friday. And what are we doing today, Harji? We got this really cool thing. Tambir dropped it off. It's called the 21 board. I'm going to explain it. This is a 21 board. And pretty much, like, if you have a goal or if you want to break a habit or create a habit, they say it takes 21 days of doing it continuously to do that. So that's what this board is. Pretty much 21 circles. You put your goal here so your goal can be like wake up at 6 a.m. You put it here and you start crossing out the numbers. And as you go up, you're creating a new habit. But if you mess up and you skip a day, you have to erase the whole board. So I think our first goal is going to be wake up at 6 a.m. every single day. Because we've been trying to do that for the past like two weeks and we haven't been successful even once. Not even once. So, so we just teleported to Jazz's house. We're pretty much dog sitting for my house and for Jazz's house. We come here specifically for Kobe. We go to my house specifically for Snoopy. And like we're just bouncing back and forth like we have no home right now. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. What? Ew, does. I just sat on this chair and broke it. It broke. We have a friend coming over, his name is Ryan, and since his chair is broken, but it's still standing up, we're gonna get him to sit on the chair. So we're gonna take one of these chairs away. Me and Jazz are gonna be occupying two chairs. There's gonna be one chair left to sit on. He's gonna sit on it. This camera's gonna be on. He's gonna fall. Hopefully he doesn't get injured. If he gets injured, we're not gonna tell him we were filming it, and it just happened. If he doesn't get injured, we'll tell him that we had a plan, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like bad luck for me. Huh? Oh, yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh! I knew it. I knew it was something. <laughs> Look at the guy's faces. Why didn't you fall, bro? That quad stuff. That quad <laughs> stuff. And we're back home. About to put in some work. Jazz is upstairs. She's taking like a little break. She's gonna come downstairs in like five minutes and get straight to work. Trying to kill it. Trying her best to kill it. Hope you're having the best day ever. You already know. Remember how I was saying that Jazz is gonna come back downstairs? and work with me. Jazz actually fell asleep, so I'm gonna end this vlog right now. I'm gonna head to bed too. I hope you guys had a blessed day, man. I hope you guys been killing it. I hope you guys been grinding, hustling, all that good stuff. And your man is gonna holla at you tomorrow, okay? Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to stay true to you. Stop giving a fuck. We gonna holla at you tomorrow. Peace out. Peace, peace, peace.